Ever have that moment, uh, you know, when you spot a cockroach? Oh, yeah. Booking it across your kitchen floor? Uh, uh. Yeah, and your mind just like instantly starts racing through like every possible way to get rid of it. Oh, absolutely. Well, today we're taking a deep dive into one of the most popular solutions people turn to. Uh, boric acid. Boric acid. Exactly. And we've gone through all the information from Simple Pest Management to give you the down low. Boric acid. Straight fact. It's a remedy that's been around forever. Yeah. Right? So you've probably heard of it, but, you know, we want to go beyond just knowing it exists and really get into it. Does it work? How does it work best? And is it the right answer for your situation? Right. Okay. okay. So first things first. Yeah. Simple Pest Management wants to clear up a really common mix up. Uh, boric acid is not the same as borax. Right. So if you're thinking about tackling a roach problem, make sure you're grabbing boric acid. That's the one with the proven track record. Yeah, that's a critical first step. Yeah. Um, they may sound similar, but their chemical properties mean they have different effects on pests. Good. We're laser focused on boric acid and its specific cockroach fighting capabilities. Got it. So by the end of this deep dive, you should have a much clearer picture on a few key things. Mm. First, does boric acid actually kill cockroaches? Right. Second, if it does, how effective is it in the real world? Yeah. Third, what are the smartest ways for you to use it at home? Mm -hmm. And finally, when is it time to say, okay, I need to call on the pros? These are the fundamental questions yeah. we'll be tackling. Right. Our goal is to equip you with the knowledge to make informed decisions about cockroach control. Okay, great. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. How does this seemingly simple powder hmm. actually manage to take down these notoriously resilient creatures? Yeah. Well, simple pest management highlights that's not just a one trick pony. It attacks roaches in a couple of different ways. That's right. Oh, okay. Boric acid has a dual mode of action, uh -huh. which is a big part of why it can be so effective. Okay. It works both when a cockroach ingests it mm -hmm. and when it comes into physical contact with it. Okay, so picture this. You've got a cockroach just like moseying around your house, maybe looking for a midnight snack, right? Exactly. And it happens to walk through a very light dusting of boric acid. What yeah. happens next? Yeah, so when a roach walks through that fine layer, the powder clings to its exoskeleton. Okay. Think of it like dust sticking to a fuzzy sweater. Oh, okay, I see. Now, cockroaches are meticulous groomers. Really? They're constantly cleaning themselves. I did not know that. And it's during this grooming process that they inevitably ingest the boric acid particles that have attached to them. Oh, that's fascinating. So it really backfires on them. The joys of cockroach hygiene turning against them. Right. So once they've unknowingly snacked on this stuff, what kind of trouble does it cause on the inside? So once ingested, the boric acid starts wreaking havoc oh. on their internal systems. Okay. So simple pest management points out that it disrupts both their digestive and nervous systems. Oh, wow. So it's not just like a little inconvenience. It throws their whole biological machinery out of whack. Yeah. So into serious problems and ultimately death. So it's not just a stomach ache. It's a full-scale internal meltdown for the poor or not so poor, depending on your perspective, right. Roach. Right, right. And I also remember reading that it acts as a desiccant. What exactly does that mean in this context? Yes, that's another critical aspect of its effectiveness. As a desiccant boric acid essentially draws moisture out of the cockroach's body from the inside. Oh, wow. So this internal dehydration weakens them significantly and contributes to their demise. So it's a double whammy poisoning and dehydration. Exactly. Working in tandem. Working together. Tag team action. Tag team. That sounds pretty brutal, but effective. It is. You also mentioned something about a recent study that sheds even more light on how boric acid works. Yeah, what's fascinating is the more recent scientific understanding of boric acid's impact at a microscopic level. Okay. So a study highlighted by Simple Pest Management has shown that boric acid actually interferes with the gut microbiome of German cockroaches. The gut microbiome. Yeah. That's like the whole community of bacteria and other microorganisms living in their digestive system. Exactly. We're learning more and more about how important that is for like all living things. Absolutely. And this study found that boric acid disrupts this delicate balance in the cockroach gut. Oh, well. Making it difficult, if not impossible, <laughs> for them to digest food properly. Oh, no. Further contributing to their mortality. So it's not just the direct toxic effects. Right. It's like mm -hmm. undermining their ability to even sustain themselves. Exactly. Wow, that's really interesting. So it's not just a poison. It's also messing with their fundamental ability to live. Yeah, okay. So we know how boric acid works. 
But the big question now is how do you actually use this stuff effectively? Right. Knowing the science is one thing, yeah. but practical application is key. Right. So simple pest management really stresses that when it comes to boric acid, less is more. Okay. A very common mistake people make is to create large piles yeah, yeah. of the powder, yeah. thinking that will be more effective. Right. Like, oh, more is better. Right. But that can actually backfire. It can. They're not going to want to walk through a mountain of white powder. Right. It's like, hey, that looks suspicious. Exactly. Roaches are surprisingly good <sighs> at detecting and avoiding things that seem unnatural <laughs> or potentially harmful. They're smarter than we give them credit for. They are. So instead, the recommendation is to apply a very thin, mm. almost invisible layer mm -hmm. in strategic locations. Got it. The goal is for them to walk through it without noticing okay. and pick up those deadly microscopic particles. So think less snowdrift and more subtle dusting. Yes, exactly. So where exactly are these strategic locations where you should be applying this thin layer? Think about the places where cockroaches naturally travel and hide. Okay. Simple pest management lists several key areas crevices and cracks in walls and floors mm -hmm. along baseboards mm -hmm. inside wall voids if you have access right and closets you know these are the dark secluded areas yeah prefer those people. out of the way spots where they feel safe makes sense exactly any other specific areas that are particularly good targets absolutely pay close attention to your kitchen and bathrooms Right. High traffic areas. Behind kitchen cabinets, yeah. under countertops, yep. and around plumbing fixtures are prime cockroach territory. Right near the water source. Exactly. Also, a thin application near appliances like stoves, refrigerators, and dishwashers, okay. as well as under sinks, can be highly effective. Got it. These areas often provide the trifecta of cockroach needs. Which are? Food, water, and shelter. It makes sense. You're following the cockroach roadmap of food and moisture. Right. Okay. So thin layers and all those hidden pathways and near resources. Yes. Now, boric acid can be helpful on its own, but simple pest management suggests it's even more effective when it has some backup. Yeah, that's a really important point to understand. Mm -hmm. Boric acid is a valuable part of an overall pest management strategy. It works best when combined with other methods. So who are its allies in this war on roaches? Right. What other tools should you consider using alongside boric acid? So simple pest management specifically recommends pairing boric acid with roach bait, particularly yeah. gel baits. Okay. So the bait contains food attractants that lure the roaches in. Okay. And then the boric acid can take effect after yeah. they've fed on the bait or walked through treated areas. Got it. They also mention that in some cases using simple attractants like a tiny bit of sugar or peanut butter oh, well. near a boric acid application can also be effective in drawing them in. Well, that's smart. Using their own desires against them. Exactly. What about those sticky traps you often see in stores? Do they have a role to play here? Sticky traps are a valuable addition. Okay. While they might catch some roaches, their primary function in this context is monitoring. Okay. So by placing them in strategic areas, you can get a sense of where the cockroach activity is concentrated mm. and gauge how effective your boric acid treatments are over time. That makes sense. And I noticed simple pest management also mentioned diatomaceous earth. Mm -hmm. Is that another similar DIY method people might consider? Diatomaceous earth, or DE, okay. does share some similarities with mm. boric acid in that it can also act as a desiccant, mm -hmm. leading to dehydration in insects. Okay. However, its mechanism is different. Okay. DE works by abrading the insect's exoskeleton, causing them to lose moisture. So boric acid primarily works through ingestion and disrupting the gut. Exactly. Interesting. So different ways to achieve a similar outcome of dehydration. Right. Okay, now what about all those do-it-yourself concoctions you see floating around online? Simple pest management has a word of caution about those, right? Yes, this is a really important point. Okay. They strongly advise against using other DIY home remedies and repellents. Okay. Especially in areas where you've applied boric acid or roach bait. Right. The concern is that these other substances might repel the roaches, preventing them from encountering or ingesting the boric acid yeah. or the bait, ultimately making your efforts less effective. You don't want to accidentally sabotage your own pest control effort. Exactly. Right. You're working against yourself. Yeah. Makes total sense. Yeah. Now, we should probably talk about safety. Boric acid sounds like it's doing some serious damage to cockroaches. 
But simple pest management assures us it's relatively safe for humans and pets when used correctly. That's correct. When used according to the instructions, boric acid has a low level of toxicity to humans and pets. Okay, that's reassuring. However, as with any pest control product, yeah. it's crucial to take necessary precautions. Of course, what kind of precautions should you be taking around the house if you're using boric acid? The main advice is to keep treated areas inaccessible to children and pets right. to prevent any accidental contact or ingestion. Yeah. So you'll want to apply it in those out-of-the-way cracks and crevices mm -hmm. where little hands and curious noses can't reach. Right. Keep it where they can't get to it. Yeah. Just good common sense. Yeah. Now, we've been talking about using boric acid for you know general cockroach issues, but what if you're dealing with a situation that feels a bit out of hand? Right. When should someone consider calling in professional pest control? Help. That's a critical question. Yeah. Simple pest management highlights a few key indicators right. that you might be facing a more severe infestation. Like what? These include frequently seeing cockroaches during the daytime, mm -hmm. noticing a significant number of droppings, uh -huh. and detecting a persistent musty odor. Daytime sightings always seem particularly alarming. Yeah. It suggests they're so overcrowded at night that they're venturing out in broad daylight. Exactly. And these are signs of a large and established cockroach population that mm -hmm. might be too extensive for DIY methods Boys. alone to effectively control. Okay. In these situations, a professional pest control service like Simple Pest Management can can offer more comprehensive and targeted solutions. Okay, so what kind of more powerful treatments do the professionals typically use in these cases? They mention using EPA-approved roach killers that are often more potent and longer-lasting than what's available to consumers. Okay. For widespread infestations, they might use fogging treatments mm -hmm. to reach a larger area. Importantly, they also have specialized techniques and products designed to penetrate deep into those hidden areas mm -hmm. where cockroaches breed and live. And... It's not just about getting rid of the roaches you see, right? Right. It's also about preventing them from coming back in the future. Exactly. A key part of professional pest control often involves identifying and sealing potential entry points okay. to prevent future infestations. This is a critical step for long-term control. Yeah, I can see how that would be important. Simple pest management emphasizes their expertise in dealing with both German and American cockroaches, okay. which are two of the most common household pests. So it's good to know they have specific knowledge of the different types of roaches you might be dealing with. And for listeners in their service area, Simple Pest Management has several convenient office locations, right? Yes, they do. Okay. They have multiple offices to serve their customers located in Santee, Sacramento, Citrus Heights, and Benicia. Okay. They've provided their contact information for each location if you find yourself needing their expertise. For anyone in those areas, it's definitely worth noting that down it sounds like they're well positioned to help and what about their operating hours for those who might want to reach out so all their offices maintain consistent business hours okay monday through friday from 7 30 a.m to 7 p.m got it and on saturdays from 8 a.m to 6 p.m so they offer quite a bit of availability throughout the week they also have a pretty interesting policy about same day or next day service for new customers, don't they? Yes. They do have a policy where if new customers call before noon, uh. they may be eligible for same day service. Oh, wow. That's great. If they call after noon, they're often able to schedule service for the next day. Uh -huh. However, it's important to remember that this typically applies to new simple pest management customers okay. and may involve a one-year service agreement mm. along with some other conditions and limitations. Got it. So it's best to inquire about the specifics when you call. Definitely good to get all the details. It's also reassuring to know that Simple Pest Management is a reputable and established company. Absolutely. They are licensed, bonded, and insured. Yes. With their license number being PR8436. Right. They're based right there in San Diego. Mm -hmm. And the president and CEO is Ian Chi. These are all important credentials to look for when selecting a pest control professional. Okay, so to wrap things up, it seems like boric acid can be a really effective tool in your fight against cockroaches, especially for, you know, those smaller infestations. Absolutely. As long as you use it strategically with those thin applications in the right places and consider teaming it up with baits and traps. That's a great summary. It's dual action approach, along with its impact on the cockroach gut microbiome, mm -hmm. makes it a potent weapon. Yeah. But it's not a silver bullet for every situation. Right. And for more severe infestations, bringing in the expertise of professionals like simple pest management is often the most effective solution. Right. 
And if you want to explore this topic further or find more helpful resources, Simple Pest Management encourages you to visit their website. Yes, they likely have a wealth of additional information and practical tips to help you keep your home pest free. Well, that concludes our in-depth look at boric acid and its effectiveness in controlling cockroaches. I'm your host, Mark Buzz. And I'm Anna Bugs. If you found this deep dive into the world of cockroach control valuable, please take a moment to follow and like us. Yes. Your support helps us bring you more of these informative discussions. And be sure to follow Simple Pest Management on their social media channels mm -hmm. for even more pest control insights and helpful tips. They're a great resource for staying ahead of any unwanted house guests. They're definitely a good source for practical pest prevention advice. Finally, as you think about all the different methods and information we've covered today, consider this what might be the single most surprising factor that could influence the success of cockroach control in your own specific home environment. It's definitely something to ponder. Thanks for tuning in to The Deep Dive.